Facts Verse presents… A few hours after sentencing a vet to jail, the judge was caught on camera walking into his cell and spending the night with the vet. If you're a fan of Facts Verse, show the world by clicking that like button, and also if you're not already subscribed, be sure to do so and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. A few hours after sentencing a vet to jail, a judge was caught on camera walking into the vet's cell and spending the night with the man. The North Carolina judge felt compassion for the veteran who was suffering from PTSD after returning from Afghanistan. Lou Oliveira, a district court judge and Gulf War veteran himself, sentenced Joe Cerna to one night in jail. Cerna is a Green Beret who had to spend a night in prison for lying about his urine test, as well as violating his probation. Judge Oliveira told CBS News that he had to sentence Cerna because he had to be held accountable. However, one night in jail was enough for Cerna to recall painful flashbacks, as well as deal with his PTSD and acute stress disorder. In fact, Cerna stated that he had immediate anxiety as soon as he was placed in the jail cell. With the jail cell door closing, he knew this would be an unbelievably tough night to contend with. As a retired Army Sergeant First Class, Cerna did three tours in Afghanistan, and with this in mind, he suffers from severe stress disorder stemming from harrowing experiences there. In fact, he told CBS News about an instance where he and his fellow soldiers were riding in a vehicle. He said the road gave way and the unit ended up in a creek. Cerna was the only survivor of this accident, adding to the already trying time he was having in Afghanistan. In an interview with People magazine, Cerna stated that he lost his entire crew in that accident. In fact, his fellow soldiers perished under the water while he had to wait for somebody to save him. Upon his return to the States, Cerna was marred with not only physical but also psychological scars. While he was able to take care of himself physically, the mental duress, stress, and flashbacks were much harder to deal with, and that pushed Cerna to consume alcohol, thinking that it would numb the psychological scars and stress. Sadly, Cerna landed in Judge Oliveira's courtroom due to a number of alcohol-related charges. Judge Oliveira mentioned that Cerna was uptight when he entered the courtroom and you could see his shoulders were tense. However, he was able to relax with direct interaction and conversation with the judge. While Cerna knew he was not able to get away with violating his probation, the judge's empathy was enough to, at least, temporarily free him of some of the stress he was experiencing. Judge Oliveira even personally drove Cerna to the jail and spoke with the jailer personally. He informed the jailer, who was also a veteran, that he wished to spend the night with Cerna in the cell. The jailer honored the judge's request and brought some mats so he could sleep on the ground. Cerna was puzzled upon seeing Judge Oliveira enter the cell. It was then that Oliveira told Cerna, we're in the foxhole together. Cerna breathed a sigh of relief and said that he was at peace. He knew everything would be okay when the judge came inside the cell. The two veterans spent time discussing their military careers and their families. Judge Oliveira stated that, as a judge, he has seen evil throughout his legal career. However, he has also seen humanity in people and knew that Joe is truly a good man. He wanted to help Joe and let him know that he's not alone in his problem. With so much hatred and political uncertainty in America today, it's great to see that humanity and caring still exists, even through a judge. Judge Oliveira and Joe Cerna, they have showed the country and the world that simple, kind gestures can truly go a long way. As a result of this incident, the judge and Cerna have grown close and they are now good friends. While nobody is above the law, there are times when certain circumstances simply outweigh the legalities of the law. In this case, Sergeant Cerna was in his current state due to serving his nation overseas. For a man who put his life on the line for us and lost several friends in the process, he surely owed a debt of gratitude from the entire nation. And Judge Oliveira apparently knew that. Subscribe for more.